What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of the Realist CM. It's episode number 112 and we return today on the back of the Copa del Rey final victory over Real Madrid seeing it's of Sober's injury is thankfully just a five day one and also Oyarzabal is coming back from the, uh, what was the injury? It wasn't the ACL was it? I think it was a, I can't remember, a torn hip flex? I can't remember now but a seven month injury regardless for Oyarzabal coming back from that now and whether he'll play in the remaining games, not entirely sure. Possibly Possibly, you never know, but uh, hey, I think we've done alright about him this season. We've already won the domestic cup double with the Super Copper, and now of course the Copa del Rey won in the last episode, retaining that after winning it last season, and as we know in La Liga, we are basically champions, and in fact for the first game of five in today's episode, if we'd win this one away against Granada, we could officially be champions depending on results elsewhere. So obviously I wanted a job done, and I'll be mentioning it many, many times before. We know with the title effectively retained, even at this stage right now, it seems like it's more of a case of, you know, when, not if. I want that points record as well, man. I've been mentioning it so many times this season. I really want that points record too. And we know if we are to get it, we need to win all of our remaining games or win all of them and then draw the other one. We cannot afford any more losses. So Granada away, took lead in the first half with Dembele's ninth goal in La Liga this season. He has been so, so good in this second half of the campaign, man. It's crazy. He's, he's sort of, it's it's weird, but like again, as he misses a golden chance here, to be fair, for his second of the game and tenth of the season. Like obviously this season, you know, to begin with, I was sort of like, you know, with Fatty being our star of last season, but now Leandro coming in, also being the star this season, trying to coexist them together. My play was like basically solely focused down left through the middle. Poor Dembele barely got a touch, but now towards the end of the season, I've been preferring to go down the right than I have the left in the middle because that's how good Dembele's been. But to go, he scored our first. Eric Garcia scored his first goal since returning to the club actually last season, uh, getting our second. And whilst we missed quite a few good chances, we would win the game by two goals to nil. And there it is. As you can see, six games to go in the season. Atletico have played a game more than us. They've got five games to go. The points gap is now 15 and whilst technically it's not officially mathematically won just yet if we were to pick up at least a point in our following game our second of five in today's episode right before the visit uh, sort of right before our visit to Juventus uh, in midweek here then that would do it that would guarantee the title and again we know we know it's already been won for a long time but the quicker we get it done the quicker it's out of the way you know if that makes sense so yeah heading to the game uh, didn't just want the points as we know we can afford one slip up in our remaining six games in order to set the points record Record. Wanted to win this game as well, and just 22 minutes in, we would take the lead. Moise Keane, who last season was the second highest scorer in the league, I've mentioned this so many times before, since Leandro came in, he's been dropped to the bench. He's played, you know, practically all of our cup games, started practically all of our cup games, and also a lot of our European nights as well, including that big win uh, against Liverpool at Anfield, when of course there was the hero in that game away in England. But he is still like one of the best strikers in the world at this point in the game. So after he scored our first and the lit scored our second, that was it was a really I gotta be honest, really poor game, like all things considered. And what you might find interesting here as well is that it wasn't De Jong that was lifting the trophy, instead it was Tap Sober. Um, now, very briefly on this, so I want to discuss here, the reason why this happened is because I subbed off Frankie De Jong midway through the game, so he'll be totally fit and fresh for the game in Turin on Wednesday night. And I think I've mentioned before, like, you know, when you when you sub your captain off, the captain's armband gets given to someone automatically, and you can't physically change the captain um, in game yourself, and it's definitely something I think that hope that's something, that's something I hope that EA do work on uh, for future versions because ultimately, like it's you know most of the time you're going to be satisfied with whoever becomes your captain because you know you love your team that you've built, right? So I certainly don't mind. I love to sober in this team, man. He's an absolute beast in the heart of our back line. He's such a rock in our, as part of our back three. But um, I, I kind of I don't really understand why you can't change the captain in the game. The only way you can sort of do it is by constantly like subbing off players, then re-subbing them back on in the team management screen uh, as the captain's armband will sort of get passed around the team and it goes to the next uh, suitable player, which is deemed by EA's determining process, which I'm still not entirely sure what it is. I think it's basically a combination of like the highest mental attributes. I think that's how it goes down to. I'm not entirely sure. Um, and of course, if there's a leadership uh, trait, then it's given to that player by default. But I, I really don't understand why you can't change the captain in game. You know, if you sub your captain off, why you can't just give it to the next player you decide? Because when the next sub goes through, 
surely that captain's armband, you know, the, the, the graphic would then just go to the player you've given it to. I, I don't understand it personally. I don't know why EA don't let you do it. Now, I can understand why you can't change captain if the captain remains on the field, if that makes sense. So if De Jong was going to stay on the pitch, why you couldn't just give it to Fatty, for example? But if he's getting subbed off, why can't you then choose the captain yourself? Like, if you're making the sub, why can't there be a little screen that says, you know, choose, choose captain, and then you can just choose which one you want for when the substitution officially happens? I don't know, but it's something I hope EA look into uh, for future versions of FIFA. But uh, regardless, because again, sometimes it can be like, someone really random like if you just joined like a new team and you just made like a new signing or whatever and he's only been there for like you know eight weeks and he suddenly caps it off and he gets to your home back it's like what whereas there could be like a club legend that's on the right back and he, he doesn't get given it it's just i don't know it can be random sometimes but uh, anyway for the third game of today's episode oh, we went to turin and beat juve by a goal to know in the champs League semi-final first day now of course last season we lost to her to berlin in the semi-finals the year before that we lost to borussia dortmund in the semi-finals with arsenal I did not want three straight semi-final heartbreaks in the Champions League. So in the first leg, I was just looking for as many goals as I could possibly get. In the end, we had to settle for just the one. It was that man once again that got it. Then Bella here right now is just on fire. Liam Delap now at Juventus almost got on a level later on, but held on for the victory there, which means coming back to New Camp, Juve will need to score. Otherwise, we're into our first Champions League final of the save. Is this the year it finally happens for me? Well, we'll see. But it's, uh, for the fourth game, uh, Almeria away from home. Still, of course, chasing that points record. So whilst the Juventus second leg was, of course, a far more important coming on the Tuesday night. Or was it? No, sorry, that was, was going to be Wednesday night. Um, heading into this game. I was still going to pick a really, really strong lineup for it. Because, yes, you could say, well, why not field a weak inside? The title's already been won officially, mathematically. But I want that bloody points record so bad, man. You've got no idea. I want the points record probably as much as I want the Champions League at this point. So, Almeria away from home just tried to run rampant in the first half. And it did as well. And you might wonder why I went to the corner flag for all three of the celebrations here as well. It's because it's where the away fans are housed. And I've mentioned this many times before. But if you're playing your save and you're trying to do it as realistically as possible, possible immersion is the key and one way to keep it immersion, uh, immersive is to take note of where your away fans are housed if you're playing on the road take note of where your away fans are located uh, before the game starts because celebrating near them or in front of them is always like really really cool so yeah I want to give a three goals to one all three goals in the first half Fatty Porro and uh, Keane with our three goal scorers can see the one late on it didn't matter in the end as you can see four games to go this is now the situation if we win three of them we will get to the joint points record, which has been set twice before, as we know, with 100, once by Real Madrid, once by Barcelona. If we win all four, it's a new points record by three. If we win three and draw the other, it's a new points record by one, which will be enough for me. So it's getting real. I wanted this so bad. I wanted the undefeated season, I'll be honest, more than anything else, because I can't remember... The last save I had an undefeated season. I know I've done it once before. I'm sure I have. But I can't remember when it was. It would have been like, again, 13, FIFA 14. A long time ago, basically. So I really wanted to do it this season. was not to be. But hey, I'll take a point to record, no doubt about it. And I'll certainly take a quadruple as well. For our fifth and final game of today's episode, Juventus, New Camp. They needed to score after our first leg victory in Turin by a goal to nil. And after Liam Delap gave them the early lead, I was having flashbacks of the Hertha Berlin game last season. I was thinking, oh my god, it's deja vu. If they get a second away goal, we are in deep trouble. So after the former uh, Man City striker gave them the lead, I thought, right gotta play lockdown defense i know we're all about goals here but i gotta play lockdown defense don't give them another chance i'm sure they will take it and in the second half 13 minutes after the restart trying to get some breathing room we get it courtesy of leandro 170 million pounds to bring him in but that's the exact same fee we paid for fatty this man on the ball here and we know how good this guy's been since we signed him to Barcelona. And as he storms down the left, rolls it across at the back stick. Who's there to turn it in from close range? Ferran Torres, who has been such a great signing from Manchester City. And so much better than Trincao, who you might have noticed for these two games against Juventus. Didn't start either leg and only came on in the late game situations. We made a brilliant decision to cash in. Well, not cash in, but allow the release clause to get met at Francisco Trincao and replace him with Torres. He's been so much better than the Portuguese winger. So that's it. 2-1. We turn the script. We flip the script, sorry. Turn the game on its head and win the tie and the game as well. 3-1 over two legs. And after Real Madrid overcame a fantastic deficit at Leverkusen to win 3-0. For the first time ever... 
We've reached Champions League final, and for the first time ever, it will be an L. Classico. Cannot wait. But that was this episode of the really CM guys. Big thank you for watching. If you had a please drop a like. Do you have a fantastic day? Two games, uh, sorry, two episodes to go. We've got the final games in La Liga coming next as we try and set a new points record and in the season finale directly afterwards. Champions League final. First one to save against Real Madrid. Have a great day. Much love. And I'll see you in the final two episodes of season eight very soon.